brothers and sisters are going through in Israel. Outrageous, insensitive, yuts. Are just a few of the terms used by frustrated Facebook users. And Mrs. Goldstein's non-Israel status update. I have no comment. I'm David Jones. And I'm Mindy Pellin. And this is Jubelish the News, where we Jubelish the News. With Israel under severe attack the last few weeks, both from missiles and CNN, social media has become a place for Israel supporters to post infuriating updates to fellow Israel supporters to further infuriate them, causing them to post even more graphic and infuriating anti-Hamas updates. So does the fragile ceasefire carry over to your Facebook timeline? Mrs. Arlene Goldstein learned that answer the hard way. For more on that story, we have Jennifer Gentile reporting from the scene. Jennifer? Yes, Mitty. I'm standing outside of Mrs. Goldstein's apartment where she has reportedly posted a non-Israel-related Facebook post. Wow. Yes, I was also shocked. We all know the unspoken law about social media right now. Until further unspoken notice, you may only post updates pertaining to the conflict in Israel which Mrs. Goldstein clearly violated. Jennifer, do we know what she posted? We just got a screenshot of what she posted and I quote, am I the only one who thinks Dwayne Johnson looks just like The Rock? Which would be a legitimate question if not for the dire matzif in Eretz Israel. Exactly, Dave. It's an expected question for geriatric Facebook users over 40. Jennifer, have you had a chance to speak to her neighbors? Yes, Mindy. They all had similar responses. They were all in utter shock by her non-Israel-related post, especially because she used to be a well-liked, friendly neighbor who did normal things, like she went to Rav Steinmetz's Wednesday night shear, and she was even a part of the Delhi to Hillen prayer group for the safety of the IDF soldiers. Now, in all fairness, I did meet up with her earlier today to give her a chance to respond. Take a look. There she is. Mrs. Goldstein, oh. how could you post a non-conflict post on Facebook? Do you know what your brothers and sisters are going through in Israel? Didn't your mama raise you better than that? Wow, she really pulled out all the Jewish guilt cards there. I didn't know Jews had guilt cards. No, 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 we own the guilt card. Mm, anyway, there's some more. I don't understand why no one is attending to the fact that The Rock looks just like Dwayne Johnson. You know they're the same person. He's just using his real name. Oh, well, that's very confusing. Why would he do that? I think it was illegal. While they drew bellish, Mindy, let me ask you a question. What exactly is an appropriate Facebook update? Is there anything you can post when things get a little too intense? Yes, especially now that Facebook videos play automatically. So before you have a chance to scroll down, 12 people are beheaded and there goes your lunch appetite. So it is important to post conflict-related mellow videos like this one of a soldier getting yogurt as a gift. And now they have to figure out the logistics of where to put the yogurt in the tank so that it doesn't spill and accidentally shoot a mortar shell to Switzerland, bringing that country into the uh, mix. And of course, there's the dilemma, will they just sip it from a small opening or use the plastic spoons given to them even though they have their hands full? As you can see, it's very dramatic footage, but you can still eat your lunch after watching it. <laughs> now, Friday gets a little tough. Do you think it's appropriate to simply write good Shabbos? I mean, it's not really related to Israel. Ah, good question. A question that was just brought up by the loophole Rebbe, and he concluded that it is permissible to post such a status because the definition of good Shabbos means that there's peace in Israel, so it's indirectly related to the conflict. Gotta love the loopholer, but I still recommend adding to the Shabbat Shalom. Post something like, and a peaceful Shabbos to our brothers and sisters in Israel. Kind of like if your shoe posts Sunday barbecue, there would be an outrage at a time like this. But if you simply add the words for Israel, it becomes a celebrated post. Sunday barbecue for Israel. You're getting me hungry. Now, Mindy, you think this video is appropriate for folks to post now? Absolutely not. No. Neither do I. No, let's cut it. Cut it. Jubelish? If you have any questions, don't forget to go ahead and write them down below. And you can also go ahead and subscribe, like, and share our video. 
see you next time on Embellish the News.